Hello, my name is Penny McReporter, and I am here today um, to talk with you about some mindfulness practices. So I've been doing this for a few weeks now, and the goal each week is to talk a little bit about how mindfulness can be helpful in our lives, uh, but also to expose you to some mindfulness practices. Um, and Generally, what's helpful for people is to decide which practices work best for them. Like, there'll be some practices that resonate with you, and other practices you're like, well, that was kind of dumb. Um, but so even figuring out which ones resonate with you is a practice in honoring yourself and listening to your own inner wisdom. Um, today's practices are feeling emotions in the body and appreciation towards your body. Um, the one feeling emotions in your body, uh, why is that helpful? Well, it's helpful because oftentimes we struggle to identify our emotions. Um, the easier ones are like anger, um, angry, happy, uh, sad, um, guilt. Uh, some of the emotions are our kind of go-to emotions. We can identify them quite easily. And a lot of the other emotions, it's pretty hard to identify them. But being able to identify them can be helpful because then instead of it being almost like um, overwhelming kind of nebulousness when we feel some kind of way, if we really can identify a little bit better how we feel, then uh, we can honor that better. Like I feel, well sad I guess is one of the more common ones, but I feel uh, puzzled today or I feel confused today. Then we can kind of honor that how we feel uh, but it also helps us a ton with our communication. Because if I'm trying to communicate with somebody about how I feel, telling them I'm angry is one thing, but if I can see what's behind my anger, perhaps I'm disappointed or maybe I'm actually really worried. Normally there's some other levels or some other emotions behind my anger. And if I can communicate about those other emotions, um, the conversation often goes better than when I just communicate about my anger. Anyway, so today's practice is about noticing emotions in our body. So I'd like to get started. If you can, please close your eyes, if that's comfortable. Um, closing your eyes all the way. Sometimes people keep their eyes open and kind of like looking down. Closing your eyes, sitting comfortably in your chair, uh, kind of alert, um, but not rigid, comfortable. I like to start by first bringing your awareness to your body. Bringing your awareness to your breath, actually, is what I meant to say. Noticing your rib cage and the movement of your rib cage with every breath. You'll feel the inhalation, the exhalation. the movement with every breath. Perhaps you notice in your rib cage all of that movement. It's possible you notice the sound of your breath right there at your nose. There's a sound, or maybe your mouth. There's a sound your breath makes. So you're just checking in with your breath by paying attention to your body or paying attention to the sound of your breath. So that's bringing you into your body and into the present moment. And as we're doing these practices today, anytime you notice your mind racing off or like thinking about something other than um, what we're focusing on, try to be patient with yourself and bring your awareness right back to your body or whatever we're talking about, 
without shaming yourself, without a lot of frustration, it's perfectly natural for your mind to wander off into your thoughts, to get stuck into your thoughts, into the flow of your thoughts. That's okay. Whenever you notice your mind has wandered off, you just call it right back like a little puppy dog. Ask it to kind of sit and stay with the topic that we're focused on in the moment. Okay, now we're going to get to feeling emotions in the body. I'd like to start, you can keep your eyes closed if you're comfortable with that. I'd like to start with anger. If you can just kind of think about the most recent thing you were angry about. So either being angry in the moment, perhaps just remembering what it was like to be angry. And if you, can, if you can conjure up that anger at all, go ahead and conjure it up, feel it. Perhaps it was in a conversation or an argument. It could be any, any part of your life, driving, trying to go back to that anger. And then noticing where you feel that anger in your body. There may be some energy with that anger. Some people feel it in their hands and forearms. Some people feel it almost as a clenching within the body. Some people feel it almost as like a forward movement or a clenching in the shoulders, wanting to do something about the anger. If you don't know where you feel your anger, it's okay. But after this, you can be tuning in to where in your body you feel your emotions. Let's go to sad. Trying to tune in to the most recent time that you were sad or an experience that you're going through today that you feel sad about. Going ahead and tuning in to that sadness And noticing where you feel it in your body. Perhaps you feel some of it in your face, in your body. Perhaps there's a sinking somewhere. Sometimes people say it's in their heart, that area of the heart, when they feel sad. And honoring it in your body. Whenever you do feel sad, as people, we can have a tendency to kind of dismiss it. Oh, I'm so stupid. I shouldn't feel sad about that. When you feel sad, honoring it rather than dismissing it or shoving it away. Let's transition to another emotion. How about excitement? If there's something that you remember being excited about, it may be recent. It may be from some time in your past. If you can bring that excitement back as much as you can, into your body so that you can feel it again. And notice where you feel excitement. You might be surprised. I'm sometimes surprised when people share with me where they feel something.
noticing where you feel excitement. Lots of people feel it in their uh, tummy area, stomach area. Oftentimes there's a sense of energy in the body, maybe in the whole body, maybe just in certain places. And you might not feel this. And if you don't feel it, it's probably because you haven't fine-tuned this way of tuning into the body and listening. It can be a completely new concept for many people. And I would say for me, it was a new concept maybe about 10 years ago. Whoops, I'm talking too much. Back to excitement. Maybe you feel it in your stomach as an energy. Excitement can sometimes be a little confounded with um, anxiety because I can be excited about something and there can be some anxiety in there too. Let's try another emotion. How about disappointment? Remembering a time recently or in the past could have been a small disappointment or a big one. Bringing yourself into the moment of the disappointment, the moment of it happening. And uh, sometimes it can transition pretty quickly into anger. But we're sticking with the disappointed part. Perhaps you felt it or feel it as a heaviness in the shoulders, a kind of sinking. That's definitely how I feel it, a kind of sinking when I feel disappointment. It kind of morphs into sadness. There's a sense of something being torn away. Even for a small disappointment, I can have that sense of something being torn away or removed. You're listening to your body. How does a disappointment feel in your body? Just tuning in. Let's try peaceful. Remembering a time recently or in the distant past where you felt peaceful. It may be hard to kind of conjure up right now if you feel agitated, anxious, angry, fearful, overwhelmed. All those things can certainly get in the way of feeling peaceful, but still conjuring up when you did feel peace, how that felt in your body, perhaps a sense of relaxation, or maybe it's just the absence of some other things you normally feel absence of a lot of anger or absence of some anxiety. Tuning into how peace feels in your body. Where you feel it. Let's tune into how peace feels in your brain. You know, we haven't talked too much about our brain behavior, but the fact is that many of us, once we start to pay attention, when we're agitated, sometimes our brain is racing more. There can be times where we're really just kind of um, 
oh, perseverating on something. What's another word for perseverating? Kind of spinning on something, thinking about something over and over and over again. We can feel a sense of like churning in our brain. Perhaps it speeds up. What does a peaceful brain feel like? Perhaps your thoughts are slowed down some. Maybe there's a little extra space in between the thoughts. Someone I know said that when she is really agitated, her thoughts are like a ticker tape, just kind of like constant, and a pretty fast ticker tape too, constantly just going round and round and round. So I'm just asking you to be mindful of that, to start to pay attention to that. So let's come back now to your breath. Come back to noticing your breath in your body. And then whenever you're ready, opening your eyes. So there's so many different emotions we could feel on any given day. And what I've learned is that we can often be feeling a bunch of emotions at the same time, right? Especially with anger, but with other things too. With anger, we can be feeling at the same time disappointed, fearful, frustrated, confused, betrayed. So many things we can be feeling with anger. And at any given moment, it's like we were feeling multiple emotions. And they could even switch pretty quickly to the following moment. With tuning into our body, knowing where we feel our emotions, and over time being able to label even how we're feeling, those are good things in our lives. They can help us to communicate better and help us to understand ourselves better. Next, I wanted to do an appreciation activity, an appreciation of the body activity. Um, we've done a couple of mindful body scans. Last week, we did a mindful scan with release, meaning like scanning if we get to our shoulders and we notice our shoulders are kind of like scrunched. Mindful scan, we get to our shoulders and we release. We drop. We relax as best we can in any given moment. Today, I'd like to do a body appreciation. Where... We acknowledge that our body is doing its best to help us out, to be strong, steady, sturdy. Now, I understand that some of you may be struggling right now with physical issues, with being sick, with having pain in some part of your body. But I do believe that our bodies are always trying to heal and trying to be better. But it's not always easy for our bodies to heal. But as we appreciate our bodies and what they have done for us, it can start to change our relationship with our bodies. Because you know what? I do believe it takes a toll if I'm always pissed at my body, right? So maybe my hip has been um, acting out, acting up acting out like a kid or acting up like a kid. Maybe my hip has been acting up and I'm frustrated. I don't want it to act up. I don't want to be here. I want my hip to be better. I want to get back to where I have been. I've got so much frustration with my hip, at my hip. I can have so much anger at my hip. And then guess what? Underneath the anger is hmm, disappointment, um, fear. It's going to be like this forever and ever. There can be other layers of emotions I feel. We're going to have to figure that out right now. But we're going to go into a gratitude scan with our body. Appreciate any part of our body that is working well. And appreciate the parts of our body, even if we feel like they're not working well. We're going to go ahead and appreciate them for all of the time they have worked well on our and trusting that they're trying to heal now. All right, closing your eyes.
coming back to your breath. And let's start with our breath. Let's start with the lungs and the rib cage. Knowing that the lungs are there. Breathing all the time. When I'm asleep, I'm still breathing. When I'm awake, I'm breathing. I have gratitude for my lungs and this moment that they are breathing. It's a complicated thing bringing in all that oxygen and other things, filtering out the oxygen and sending the oxygen throughout my body. I have appreciation for my lungs. My heart beating tirelessly, <laughs> maybe it is tired, I don't know, beating tirelessly on my behalf. Since the day I was born, oh no, since before I was born, since my heart started beating before I was born. Sometimes it skips a beat. Every so often I can feel it. Perhaps you have an issue with your heart. And having gratitude for your heart being there, pumping the blood continuously. Working and working as best it can. I have gratitude for my heart. Thank you. We don't have time to do all the internal organs. Let's just kind of group them together. All of my internal organs, unless there's a specific one you want to spend time on now, <laughs> spend time with. Kind of knowing all your internal organs are there inside your torso. Well, I guess your brain too. Appreciating what they do every day. To keep the body running, to rid our body of toxins, to process through what we eat and what we drink and what we breathe. To keep things regulated as best as they can. Having gratitude for every organ everything each organ is doing to keep my body running as smoothly as possible. And even the organs who have recently been troublesome from, for some reason or another, appreciating that they're still trying and appreciating them for all the time before they got overwhelmed and needed extra help. I appreciate all of my organs. Let's transition to, I don't know, how about the feet? Bring your awareness to your feet. Appreciating the complexity of the feet. There's so many bones, I don't know how many bones. Is it 200 some? In the feet, with muscles, tendons, ligaments. Appreciating the complexity of the feet and how they carry us around every day. And if we're being carried around without pain, Oh, so much appreciation for everything they do. And if we do have pain, appreciating all the time before the pain, but also appreciating what they're trying to do for us today.
Let's bring our awareness to the legs and arms, appreciating what they do for us every day as best as they can. Take a sip of my tea. My arms, my hand, appreciating all of that. I appreciate my arms, my legs, and I appreciate the rest of my body. Perhaps I'll spend some time later on thinking about all the other places that I can appreciate. How about my spine? There's one for you. But I don't want to take too long on this. I'd like to come back to the breath, appreciating my breath, my rib cage, and then opening my eyes. You can open your eyes whenever you're ready. I'd like to wrap up and encourage you to practice this. You can come back to this video if you like, or you can be incorporating any of these practices that resonate with you. The practice of gratitude towards your body, the practice of noticing where your emotions are located in your body, and even a practice of getting better at labeling your emotions. You can look for up online for an emotion chart um, and see which of those emotions you're able to identify in your life. Often it's pretty subtle and we can feel overwhelmed and it's pretty darn difficult to identify the emotions that are within that. I hope you'll join me next week. Um, these are live on Fridays at noon at the Jefferson Educational Society. Um, so please join us next week. Uh, my name is Penny Meckley Porter, and I'm a therapist here in Erie, PA, at the uh, at Thrive Therapy Space. Once again, thank you, and have a good week. Good weekend.